Before anything else, first of all, I would like to make a correction in my previous video, which I referred to Arlon Batingal and Gerson Lucerito as amateur boxers. Correction, these are professional boxers having the same record of three wins in three fights, two of those wins by KO. I apologize for the mistake. Once again, they are both professional boxers. <laughs> Now, with that out of the way, just like any other boxing gym, it's both fighters and just customers like me who keeps the revenue flowing. That's why most of the customers here stretch out their own little help into making this gym in our town known. Also together with the plans of the coach to watch his boxers, of course. Um, boxing gym, no? champion. It's fun being in this gym, and like I said in most of my videos repeatedly, I will continue to support boxers in our town. It's sad to say, but our local government ain't doing anything to make the sport mature, both marketing or promotional wise. In other note, later that day, I also got the chance to watch previous fights of the boxers in Don Punch Table, called Battle of the Speed Punch, which highlighted Richard T. Barros versus Marjun Yap of Ala Boxing Stable from Cebu, a stable where the likes of Ray Boom Boom Bautista, Donny Ahas Nietes, and the retired Z. Gores, along with other promising Filipino fighters, started their career. <laughs> Battle of the Speed Punch was hosted by Don Punch Promotions in partnership with Dunairi Senior Stable and Ala Gym Stable. The main event which highlighted Richard D. by Beros versus Marjonep on the rematch, which Beros lost in the first bout, ended up in a split decision, giving the win to Richard T. by Beros. This fight was way back on the stage of his career where he was having conflicts with his trainer but still came away with a victory. I will be bringing the updates of their next fight later on this July 19th.